Hello, everybody. It's Tim here at Rat Daddy Studios, and uh, another Halloween edition. Uh, told you guys I was going to be digging out some more Halloween builds, um, so I just grabbed a few out tonight to uh, let you guys check them out. And uh, actually, one of my very favorites, and uh, based on uh, some artwork from one of my favorite artists from back in the day, Frank Frazetta. Uh, him and uh, other fellow named Boris, they did uh, a lot of this type of uh, fantasy artwork back uh, in the 60s, 70s, and probably into the 80s. And uh, of course, uh, Molly Hatchet used, uh, I think, on four different albums, I think they featured Frank's work. But uh, probably the best known image is the Death Dealer uh, here. Uh, really just great painting. And uh, when uh, Mobius said they were coming out with this kit, I was just thrilled because, uh, and, and I wish we would see a lot more of Frank's work um, done in kit form. But uh, I think, you know, the, that company's changed hands since then. And um, I don't know, maybe just choices have been changed. But I, I think this is just a beautiful kit. Um, I added uh, lighting, as you can see, to the horse's eye and to the death dealer's eyes as well. There's a red LED light in there, and uh, it's subtle, but uh, sinister, you know, just like uh, the artwork is, and uh, it's just really cool. So this, uh, this is completely hand-painted, uh, not airbrushed. Uh, this is all done with dry brush. And um, used a little bit of everything on here. I used a lot of Wicked Colors and, and Auto Air on here. Um, basically, the the entire thing, uh, which I start out with most of these more sinister monster builds, everything is painted in uh, flat black first. That is the basis for all of these um, kind of kits like this where you've got these just creepy, dark monsters um i had a friend uh from the old show rod rally site who built a lot of the uh, original aurora kits and uh really masterful jobs he did on them and he turned me on to this because before i was building up color and stuff but he's like no 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 you, you need everything needs to be black first and then you work your colors over the black <laughs> excuse me for being out in the rain so much and um so anyway so yeah so that's that's how this works and uh you know everything doesn't have to be bright and gory yes there's a lot of blood on this you can see the blood pooling where the skeletons and stuff are in the in the blood um you know some on the horse hooves and stuff but um th that subtleness uh is what just brings this out so once you do the black you're doing dry brush technique which is basically loading your brush full of paint i usually will work on like an old magazine or something like that and then you're you're brushing up most of the paint off and then going back and very lightly you're hitting all the high spots so um you know as you can see on this shield this is several different colors uh, gold and some uh, different shades of silver and some gunmetal on his chain mail on his legs and some dark gun metal in here, um, some copper, um, gold and red. And then the horse, although he's black, he's highlighted with brown all over his hair, his mane, all around his face and ears, his legs. Uh, you dry brush the brown on top of that to give that, that depth and that tones. Um, that although he appears to be solid black, and of course you want him, I wanted him kind of dirty looking, kind of muddy looking, like he's stepping in the mud and the the uh, the dirt. So there's a lot of brown in here, even though it doesn't show up a whole lot. There's a, a whole lot of brown put over top of this black base, and then of course Death Dealer himself, his arms. I did him more tanned and, and tanned skin, darker skin, and then dirtied him up quite a bit, like he's been out in the mud and the filth and the dirt and and. Uh, you know, same thing, dry brushing down that helmet, you know, lightly brushing it, wiping it down, dry brushing it down. And then uh, just a little bit of subtle colors, you know, down in there. I, I actually even used a little green 
down in there, almost like oxidized type green. Just little some little highlights and stuff in a few little places in there. So anyway, so yeah, that's a death dealer. And this is really one of my favorite pieces. I really, really, really like this piece. And uh, so, um, and then this next one, this is uh, one of the old Pirates of the Caribbean kits. Uh, this is one of the reissues, and uh, these things are supposed to have action and stuff, you know, and it's, there's rubber band loaded action on this arm, but they, they, these things never work. I, I think, yeah, well, you can see that's what he's supposed to do. The action on this one is you pull the arm down, and it's supposed to come up and point the pistol. Um, and I've got several of these kits, and this is the only one I've built. <laughs> so I did this a few years ago. Uh, when did I build it? It's called Spoils of the Scalawag, and I did that in uh, 2021, so yeah, three years ago. But the same thing, all flat black, and then dry brush in your colors. And uh, these were originally the Disney kits. Of course, they have been all reissued, thank goodness, because uh, the Disney kits had just gone crazy. I had all the original Disney kits, and it's funny because I got wind of these reissues coming, and I sold all my Disney kits on eBay and uh, did really, really well on those. And, uh, and the same thing, just added you know a lot of color on the parrot, a uh, little detail, and but everything is just real simple dry brush the whole thing. And uh, these are fun. I mean, I, I ooh, that feels weird. See, that's the thing is, they these all have rubber bands in them, and you know what happens even in a short amount of time, especially in, in hot weather, the rubber bands deteriorate, and what eventually happens is the the you know arms fall off and everything else. See, this has got a switch on the back that's supposed to actually, you know, control that action on there. So I'm not going to mess with it because his arm's probably going to fall off. But anyway, they're cool. Um, I've got several more I need to be messing with. Uh, got a little glow-in-the-dark skull down there. Uh, but yeah, these are fun, and they they go together really easy. I mean, they're, they're pretty enjoyable to build, and they're great to put out at Halloween or just, I mean, just in general, if you like this kind of stuff. I mean, from the, I know a lot of people fans of the Pirates of the Caribbean, so this is right there, right up the alley. So anyway, so um, that's that. A couple more Halloween builds for you. I'm, I'll have some more car stuff here um, probably next week. I don't know how much we'll get into this week. We're going to wait and see what the... Uh, what the storm does to us. So we're all ready um, for the storm. Now it's just uh, watching the news for these updates and um, gonna work tomorrow. The storm's not supposed to roll in until Wednesday afternoon or Wednesday evening. Uh, my granddaughter's on her way back over here. Tonight they're driving back. It's a mass exodus out of the West Coast to Tampa Bay area where she's at. And uh, we're really concerned about her and her boyfriend getting back safely because the highways are so jammed. They've opened up all the side lanes and everything, the, the even the, the shoulders are allowing people to drive on them. Of course, all the garbage accumulates on the shoulders, a good way to get a flat. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's just, it's pretty crazy right now. But uh, hopefully she gets back here safe tonight. And um, other than that, I think we're all, all pretty much ready and just uh, we'll be ready to ride it out when it hits here on Thursday sometime. So um, we'll keep you posted on that. But uh, in the meantime, Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, just we'll do some more Halloween updates. I I got a lot more Halloween builds, so <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do some more. And, uh, they're fun, and we love Halloween. And I I need to start digging my decorations out because we're already uh, you know into the second week of the month, and usually I'm I'm already there. I've already got stuff out and uh, stuff in my yard and everything else, but. Uh, not, not this year, not right now. And uh, it's supposedly there's another storm forming up behind Milton. So this could go on the next couple of weeks. So we're just going to wait it out and see what happens. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at these guys and uh, my old Molly Hatchet album. And uh, I've got another one of the albums, uh, not with the Death Dealer on it, but with another piece of the artwork. So I've got another one sitting back there in the closet. So anyway, I'll see you guys again real soon. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off because it's getting a little long-winded and um, stay tuned. I'll see you again.